today I will try out if I'm able to open such padlocks or such a cable lock with the tools from a Swiss Army knife. So stay tuned. Hello YouTube! Welcome to another Swiss Army Knife project video. Today I will train my lock picking skills and they are really on a deep level. So I have maybe three hours experience with these transparent practice locks you can buy on the internet. But today I will try out if I'm able to open normal locks with my EDC Swiss Army Knife. But before I start to show you my technique I would like to explain to you the principle of a cylinder lock so that you can understand what you have to do with these pins that you can open the lock. So let's have a look inside the cylinder lock. You can see several pins. The pins are movable and spring loaded. Each pin consists of two separate parts. The key pin in the cylinder and the driver pin in the lock body. Every key pin has a different length. The function of the key is to lift the pins in that way that the pin level, this is the dividing line between the key pin and the driver pin, comes to stay exactly on the shear line. Only like this the cylinder can be turned and the lock can be opened. So now I try to explain you the lock picking technique with this model. I know this is not the best model, but hey, it is what it is. As soon the key is inserted in the key slot, the key pins will lift it through the key that the upper end of the key pins are perfect on the shore line here. That's why you can turn the cylinder in the lock body. If you take out the key, the spring-loaded driver pins press down the key pins on the stop bar in the key slot. I show you. So I hope you can see this. So now if you want to open a lock without key, you need two tools. You need a tension tool where you give tension and you need a raking tool where you can lift the pins. Hmm. So the trick to open such a lock without the key is based on the manufacturing inaccuracies of the lock parts. This hole, for example, are never exactly in one line. One hole is a little bit more in this direction, another hole is some uh, micrometers in this direction. They are never in one line. If you give tension with the tension tool, and just in the imagine I left never go the tension. So, but I need this hand. So, if you give always tension, I simulate the tension with the pressure in this direction on the lock body. So, always one of these pins get jammed between the hole of the lock body and the, and the hole in the cylinder. So, this one is free, this one is jammed, this one is free, this one is free. Hopla. Hmm? Now, I have to lift this pin with the raking tool so, until it makes click and then the cylinder turns maybe some micrometers clockwise like this and then you know this hole is free. Now I give again pressure and the next pin get jammed. This one is free this one is free, this gets jammed. So, I think, um, take the raking tool, lift the pin, no, this one, puck, and it makes again click, puck, and the cylinder turns some micrometers clockwise. Back. And make this with all the pins, and then you can turn 
the cylinder. So this is, this is the technique how you can open a lock without key. A good lock picker can make this in a very controlled and repeatable way. <laughs> but uh, with, with the tools of a Swiss Army knife and with my experience, this is not possible. So what I can do is go in with the tension tool, always give tension, and then I go in with the raking tool, and with the raking tool I just fiddling around. I go uh, uh, forward and back, up and down, and, and uh, with a bit luck, and with a bit uh, uh, perseverance and patience, you can bring all the key pins on the right level, and suddenly it makes clack, and the lock is open. So, um, <laughs> in, in, in my case, in my case, these techniques works not that bad. So I will show you that. The first lock I want to try to open with my Swiss Army knife is such a transparent uh, practice lock, and such a lock you can buy on the internet for a few dollars. And uh, the advantage is that you can see what the pins are doing. And this lock has for sure not a high security level. So I tried to open it with the tweezers and tool speak. The tweezers I take as tension tool. For that I put in one leg uh, like this. And I give tension on the other leg. Then I go in with the tool speak as raking tool and try to play around a bit and <laughs> it's already open. So in this case it worked well with the tool speak as raking tool, but normally I don't like the tool speak uh, as raking tool because Often the tip is too soft that you can push up the pins and on some locks the tool speak is too thick that, could, that you can push it deep enough into the key slot. So that's why I tried to, to exchange the tools. So I take the tool speak as tension tool, like this. So, and the tweezers as raking tool. But now I have the problem that I can slip under the pins to push them up. I need a pointed tweezers. So, as you can see, I grinded the point on the tweezers and uh, to be honest, I like pointed tweezers much more than flat ones, even if I don't have to open a lock, a lock because I can remove ticks and, sp and splitters much better with a pointed tweezers than with a flat one. So that's why I, I recommend anyway, modify your tweezers on the Swiss arm knife. If you want to know how this works, Please check this video. Okay. Now I try to open the lock with the pointed tweezers as a raking tool. So as you could see, this combination worked on different locks. Uh, the only uh, annoying thing was that I couldn't give much tension because the tool speak is too soft. So after half an hour failed attempts on the next locks, my finger tip hurts. And uh, look at this tool speak. <laughs> 
doesn't really work as tension tool it's too soft it's, it works a little bit but not really good so i decided to replace it and to take a second tweezers where i bended the tip like this so let's see if this works So that worked quite well, but I'm not 100% happy because the chance that you have a second tweezers in an emergency situation is, is not really high. So, but uh, right now I had probably the best idea and uh, just tears apart the tweezers like this, it uh, tears apart at the plastic head and bend one end so you have a tension tool on one leg and the second leg with the plastic head is the raking tool so I think this is the best solution but hey I have no more energy to open more locks <laughs> my fingertips hurts you can't believe <laughs> and uh, a special thanks goes to the YouTube channel how does it work they allowed me to use the 3D animation at the begin. Uh, the link to this channel you find in the end card and in the description box below. So my friends, I hope I have proven enough that a Swiss Army knife can save your ass and you can open <laughs> you can open a lock with the tools of a Swiss Army knife. That's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you next Friday. Ciao!